Welcome to Safe Secure Surfing's review of Private Internet Access's speed tests. So Private Internet Access is a, is a VPN service and today we're going to be doing a speed test using three different sites. We're going to use speedtest.net, speedtest.org, and speakeasy speed test. That's on speakeasy.net. So we're going to do three speed tests. First before the private internet access VPN has been turned on and then second after it's been turned on and we're going to compare how much of a drag private internet access causes with their VPN service being on. So we'll go ahead and start with the first website speedtest.net and we'll just click on begin test and this will give us a baseline for where we're at. So we'll do this and while you're while the speed test is being done we'll wait for it to be done and we'll be, we'll be back with you shortly. Okay, we finished the speed test, both the an upload and a download test on private internet access. All right, we're going to go and do speedtest.org speed test here. So we'll start it and we'll see what we get for some results and we'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so we've completed speedtest.org's download and upload speed test and we're going to move over to speakeasy dot net and do the speed test on that one. For this one I have to select the city so I'll just pick the first one on the list here. We'll go with Seattle. And as it's connecting here we will start with our speed test. So it's starting and we'll be back with you shortly. Alright, welcome back. We've just finished with speakeasy.net's speed test. Now that we've finished all three speed tests we're going to move over and start private internet access as VPN and that's done by activating it from the the icon from the Windows menu at the very bottom and then we can select where we're going to go with. So we'll pick a place, let's go with the connect from the US Midwest so we'll go there and it's saying it's connecting right now and while we're doing, while it's connecting I'll move over back over to speedtest.net and we'll continue our test there. We'll just confirm that we're connected it says yep yeah, we're connected right now and we'll see what kind of an effect this has on it. So I'll reload speedtest.net and we'll do a new speed test on it and see how well this compares to the speed test we had before the private internet access as VPN service was launched. Alright, so we'll go with our begin our speed test and we'll start here. And as it's doing it, we'll be right back with you shortly. Alright, so we finished with our speed test dot net speed test for private internet access is VPN. Okay, so here we are at speedtest.org and we're going to do the speed test with private internet access's VPN turned on. So we'll start it now and we'll be back with you after this is finished. Okay, we finished with speedtest.org's test and we'll move over to speakeasy.net speed test. So once again I have to choose a location, so we'll pick Seattle for consistency's sake. And as it's doing its speed test here, we'll see how the results come out. Alright, we finished with the three speed tests, both before private internet access's VPN was launched and after it was launched. I'll do up a chart here and we'll come back with some results and we'll discuss the results a little bit further and see where we end up. Alright, so I've taken a few minutes and I've reviewed and compiled all of the results from the, from the speed tests that we did at each of the three speed test sites, speedtest.net, speedtest.org, and speakeasy.net. Overall, we had an average of the three sites before private internet access was launched of 6.90 megabits per second as a download speed and as an upload speed of 1.15 megabits per second. After private internet access was launched, we saw this reduced by about 0.6 for an average of 3 is 6.31 megabits per second and the upload speed was reduced just, uh, just a little bit. It wasn't actually affected too, too much at 1.08 megabits per second. So there's definitely a little bit of a slowdown but not, not too too bad overall. Definitely acceptable. So it was looking really, really quite good here. 
So if you'd like to see my complete review, please check in the information section below. We'll have a link to the website and my full review as well as some other videos that we have. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.